back to a new episode of Get Familiar With. Today I will uh, talk about the Bugatti Shaver. Bugatti Shaver is uh, part of the family of the so-called Morselato or tissue removal devices, but it's unique in its uh, uh, way of working, different from the rest of the so-called Morselato. So uh, we have here on the table not only the instrument itself, but also the electronics, the hardware, we need to uh, let the shaver working properly. And particularly, we have uh, the engine who control uh, the speed uh, of the, uh, the morselator, of the blade, and two endomat select, one for irrigation and one for aspiration. So, I will talk first about the instrumentation and then we will talk about how to connect how the instrument works and how to connect the instrument to the shaver. So the shaver is based on a hysteroscope that looks more like a old fashioned la operative laparoscope we were used to work with uh, during the 80s and the beginning of the 90s and this is because we need a straight channel in the middle to insert the uh, the blade uh, connected to the to the engine who see you will see here um, so and laterally we have the high piece for the connection of the camera uh, the light cable connector the irrigation and this is the so-called operative channel with his uh, uh, stopcock for opening and closing the communication so to get uh, to allow the, an easier introduction of the uh, Bugatti shaver into the uh, uterine cavity. Remember, this is the miniaturized version, and today is the only one available. Has a, a diameter of 6.5, around 6.5 millimeter, 19 uh, French. We have to use uh, uh, this obturator. This obturator uh, transform the tip of the uh, of the hysteroscope in a less traumatic uh, uh, device okay so we have here the obturator that goes around here and it's blocked and the obturator you see here keeps the part totally smooth so you can insert easily the scope prior the insection of the uh, blade and here on the top of the obturator you have the connection for the aspiration so connecting the irrigation here the aspiration here you will get the uh, let's say so-called continuous flow something similar to the continuous uh, flow once you are inside the cavity you remove the obturator and then uh, you insert the blade the blade is made by an external sheet this one you see here and you can choose the between uh, three different uh, uh, blades uh, that are totally different in uh, at the tip of the instruments here so uh, we insert then the blade inside the sheath and it's blocked then the blade is inserted inside the instrument and therefore it's connected it can be done also before inserting inside and it's connected to the uh, engine okay okay here you have a block system at this point uh, the system is perfectly uh, connected and uh, you maneuver uh, the uh, shaver holding the camera here and uh, holding with the other hands uh, the uh, the shaver the blade okay so you control how much of the blade you want to have out from the tip of your uh, of your uh, uh, hysteroscope and the inclination of the blade itself in order to approach to better approach with lateral movements uh, the pathology that usually for this kind of pathology are polyps or, or retains of uh, uh, of placenta so this is the way the instrument is connected in addition if you want to perform also so-called classic hysteroscopy or you have to remove a large quickly a large part of the pathology or you have for example an IUD or something 
you have also available different uh, mechanical instruments that can be of 3 mm that can be inserted inside the operating chine instead of the blade. So you take the blade out and you insert one of these instruments. You have a grasping forceps, you have scissors and you have a traumatic uh, forceps. So here it's already mounted a grasping forceps, a traumatic grasping forceps and then you have a mechanical instrument inside your uh, uh, Bigatti shaver. Okay, so it's a good combination and in case you need electricity because maybe there is a bleeding, you cannot stop obviously working with the mechanical instruments even with the, with the uh, shaver, then you have a bipolar uh, point here, tip, that can be easily used to close vessels that are bleeding maybe during a polypectomy or myomectomy. It's a rare event, but it's better to have this instrument available on the table. So mechanical instrumentation and bipolar instrumentation to be used instead of together with the, with the blade. So this is the uh, Bigatti shaver, the, the hysteroscope. But then we have to talk about the hardware. So the other devices that uh, let the Bigatti shaver working. It cannot work obviously without an, a, a motor, a something that uh, uh, bring energy to the engine, to the motor who is located here. So let's talk about now the um, electronic. So these are the electronics we need to work uh, to let the uh, Bigatti shaver working. So we have two NMAT select and uh, uh, the electronic control the engine. Let's start from, from the last one. It's called Unit Drive S3. So this unit is the same unit that allows also the morselator, the uh, arthroscopic uh, uh, instrumentation and other instruments to work with. So it recognizes uh, the instrument who is connected uh, or the engine, the motor, who is connected. So in this case, if we connect the, uh, this cable, that is the cable who belongs to the uh, uh, motor, of the uh, Bigatti shaver of the blade, it recognize immediately that we are working with the Bigatti shaver. Therefore, it will immediately go in the menu for controlling this device and not other devices. This is a clever, a clever uh, uh, way of working uh, because uh, uh, we don't have to select the instrument, so it's immediately recognized. Uh, then uh, I will show to you uh, on the back side some uh, particularity of this, uh, uh, of this device and then nearby we have uh, the uh, connector for the pedal. The pedal is here on the top, it will be connected there and the characteristic of, the pe of this pedal is that together with the cable that you will see when uh, I will show you the back side of this instrument uh, we can control also the aspiration. We need to have rotation of the instrument simultaneously with aspiration because the shaver as also the so-called morselator tissue removal device need a strong aspiration in order to aspirate all the debris that uh, the blades uh, cut into an external uh, uh, container. So, uh, in order to leave the cavity perfectly clean. So, the first step, if the, this machine would be connected to the aspiration, to the unit that controls the aspiration, in the first step, it will work only the aspiration. So, this is good to fix, in particular, if we are talking about poly, fix the poly on the blade, on the opening of the blade. And then, pushing harder, the Aspiration will continue and the blade will start working. So this is a, a, a two-way pedal, just one on aspiration and pressing harder, aspiration and the start of the, uh, of the uh, motor, of the engine of the blade. Then we have uh, the NMAT Select. The NMAT Select here we have two. The NMAT Select are twins, are perfectly equal. They do not change each NMAT select can be uh, uh, set up for different purposes. We will see when I will turn on 
the machine you can uh, set up for uh, for uh, uh, ENT, for uh, uh, arthroscopy, for gynecology, for urology, for many purposes. And specifically in gynecology, you can tell what the pump has to do. So if the pump has to work in aspiration, if the pump has to work in irrigation, or if the pump works for laparoscopy, it means change the speed and amount of liquid you can bring inside inside the, the abdomen. One important thing, you know, recently we had the withdrawal of the easy pump, so we were back to the alternative of using the endomat or using the endomat select. Be careful because there was a little bit of confusion on this issue. Starts clarify that two endomat select at the moment, at the present state they cannot work, they are not guaranteed to work properly for continuous flow instrumentation. They are dedicated, they are guaranteed for working two of them, one in irrigation, one in aspiration, for the Bigatti shaver and only for the Bigatti shaver. It means that if you think to use the two endomats select to work with an office cystoscope, a mini receptoscope, a normal receptoscope, you cannot control properly the inflow and the outflow, so you will run probably in trouble. So starts will not guarantee the uh, uh, execution of a proper continuous flow procedure using these two devices today. Tomorrow probably something will change and will be, there will be new software and so on. But today, the time you are watching this video, you cannot use these two instruments for nothing else than Bigatti shape. Okay, so let's have a, now a look on the back side of this instrument. Then I will turn it back on the front side and I will, and I will put it on and show you the details of the menu. And here we are with the backside of the three uh, instruments. So these two are the two NMA select, again twins. There is no difference between this, this one and that one. I can put one instead of the other one, nothing will change. And the backside of the engine of the uh, Unidrive S3. So the cable I was talking with you before is this cable. If I connect here, you see here this uh, 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 pump is written pump. If I connect the uh, uh, Unidrive S3 with the device that it will work for aspiration, in this case is the lower one. I, des I decide it's the lower one, but can be even the upper one. I plug the two instruments and I connect this instrument with this cable. Then uh, pushing when I will push the pedal, I will. Uh, First step again, activate the aspiration. Second, st second step, aspiration and the motor. So this is perfectly, this is the perfect setup, the per perfect companion for the Bigatti uh, shape. Then we have USB connection as usual in Stort's family, you know, to see the instrument, the interface between the instruments, the uh, network connection and the USB uh, connection. Uh, for the rest, it's a normal, absolutely normal, and obviously the electrical plug. Here we are now with the front panel. So let's switch on uh, the three machine. You see, they are doing the so-called boot just for fun. Uh, this is not 600, as I saw people saying in some operating theater, but it's just B O O T boot. And it means uh, obviously uh, uh, the startup of the of the machine. The pedal is already connected. On the back side, there is the cable of interface uh, of uh, of uh, uh, connection between the motor and the aspiration. And then I connect the uh, cable of the Bigatti shaver. Uh, of course, uh, connecting this cable, as I told you, the pump recognizes immediately that we are using. A Bigatti shaver and it will be it will go in program one that is the one dedicated to the Bigatti shaver. The only things we can control in this case is the speed of the engine, nothing else. So it's let's say transparent mode 
nothing special except the use of the paper. So now let's have a look at the, at the uh, two Enomat select. So after the boot, we have the menu on the, uh, on the front panel. As you can see, it's already written uh, hysteroscopy, uh, irrigation, hysteroscopy, aspiration. Why? Because when we set up the pump, we choose, as you can see here, which is the application today or in this theater for this uh, pump. So you see here we have different alternative uh, in order to uh, set for the best setup for the uh, uh, urology, gynecology and so on. And if we press gynecology, we have the possibility to tell this pump to work for irrigation, to work for aspiration or to work in irrigation in laparoscopy. So we decide for irrigation and therefore the pump show hysteroscopy irrigation while the lower one show irrigation uh, show hysteroscopy aspiration so these two pump one is dedicated to irrigation one is dedicated to aspiration but they can be changed in the way we prefer again one more time these two pump are not working in a feedback it means that the pump of the irrigation doesn't know anything about the aspiration and vice versa. And this is the way, the reason why, sorry, uh, stores at the moment do not guarantee a control of a continuous flow system with these two pumps. Okay? But is the way the Bugatti Shaver works because Bugatti Shaver needs a, 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 a strong aspiration and continuous aspiration to keep the material adherent and then to aspirate all the chips. Uh, another important and nice feature of this menu that is quite unique uh, in the field of the pumps is that if you press menu and you go in setting, you have a uh, hey, uh, difference. So probably listening what I uh, repeat and repeat that the pump must be located in the higher part compared to the abdomen of the patient or at least the same level of the body of the abdomen of the patient while sometimes they go in the lower part of the trolley and they have to win the negative uh, gravity pressure to reach the patient here you can adjust the position you can adjust the position of the of the pump in order to overcome the uh, the um, position of the pump itself so this is a clever way to, uh, to let the pump working properly even if it's not located in the right place. So now we move to the cable connection. This is the tubing set and of course you have to buy one tubing set for uh, irrigation. It's recognizable by the blue color of the connectors and the presence of the two connectors for the sack and one for uh, uh, aspiration that has a red orange connector plus the uh, connection for the receptor or the container for the liquid aspirate. So this they works the same of the uh, AMU new generation. If you remember the video I presented on the AMU new generation. So this is the, uh, uh, the irrigation one with the blue. So it's connected the same way of the AMU. Plug it and you turn and fix and the menu change and it show to you the pressure. Same things is done for the uh, aspiration. You plug and turn and then you have uh, the irrigation and the aspiration uh, uh, connected. So here, what you can, uh, you can work with the certainly pressure, supposed pressure, because the pressure is still uh, the resistant of uh, the liquid through the tubing set, but it cannot be controlled because there is no control of the aspiration at all, uh, as it happens in the AMU endoma or as it was much better before in the easy easy pump. So this is the way the shaver needs to work, but this is not the way we should work with the in-office hysteroscopy, with an office hysteroscope, with a mini receptoscope, or even with a classic receptoscope. 
So now that everything is connected, so the cable of the pedal is here, uh, the cable connecting the uh, motor of the shaver to the units, on the back side we have the connection between the units and the um, uh, aspiration uh, uh, here. So if we start, uh, if we press the pedal, just one step, you see we have the aspiration going on. You can see here the rotation of the pump dedicated to the uh, aspiration. And if we press longer, this is the engine who activate the, the blade. And the blade starts rotating left and right and left and right. You can see here, you see? Left and right and left and right. So one step, aspiration. Step number two, aspiration and blade activate. Okay, so this is the way the machine works. Of course, you have to take your uh, scope, you have to insert the blade inside when the scope is uh, already in. You have to connect your camera, light cable, irrigation cable, aspiration cable here from the back side. And then the system is all connected and of course you will manage as I told you before holding the camera with one hand and holding the uh, uh, shaver the blade with the other ends so depending where the pathology is located you will uh, put the blade of the uh, of the shaver in contact with the pathology and free from any uh, let's say any interference with the instrument itself so uh, it's a little bit let's say complicated you know all the cables we have two cables here one here one laterally plus the camera but it's a very very efficient uh, uh, system so i forgot to show to you at the beginning i will do it now what these two blue stuff are these are two nice uh, adapter in order to clean properly the blade so if we take the blade out and we wash at the end of the procedure so you we separate the blade from the engine and then we separate the blade itself from the sheath then how to work how to clean these instruments this is a nice adapter one has a, has a, has a small hole and the other one has a larger hole so the small holes go on the blade you click here laterally and it eat the final part of the blade therefore it's perfectly isolated and you can insert a lure lock syringe here and you can wash inside with the syringe the blade itself uh, the say this one with the larger goes on the sheet same possibility to connect a larger a large uh, uh, syringe with the lure lock and washing several times the inner part so this is perfectly device excellent idea in order to clean the two parts of the blade before sterilization so this is the whole set I hope uh, you enjoy the description and I invite you to see the next uh, uh, video on Get Familiar With. Thank you.